Hey, hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about Aspire, MCP, and hey, deploying servers to Azure, because this is one of the topics that a lot of people are interested in. And one of the ideas is that a couple of weeks ago, I created these samples, which is basically a chat and a Blazor application that uses a large language model in a chat. And also there is a backend server, an MCP server that depending on the functions that you want to do, is going to call the functions there, which is kind of cool and nice. I'm happy about this. Take a look, it's in the resources. But the question here is about, hey, can we deploy this? How we can deploy this in example to the cloud? So we can do a couple of things here. First of all, this is the solution. This is the one that is already in the in the repo, and we have Aspire stuff, we have MPP host and server defaults, and then we have the backend server, this is the MCP server, and the front end, which is the Blazor application. So once I have this, the only thing that I need to do if I want to deploy, I need to do an ACD login using the Azure CLI, and then ACD app. But one of the other cool things that I can do is, here in the app host, if I go here to the folder and I do an ACD, it's going to generate a couple of files. We can see here the new set of files. That is going to be the files that we are going to use to deploy to Azure. This is what the ACD is going to do, uh, use to deploy. So we have the main basic file, the resources basic file, and also the backend. This is the MCP server and the front end. At this moment, I can go here, start to change things. If I want, in example, it's going to, I can change the, uh, the ports or the replicas, or if I want to use a GPU that now I can see, we can use GPUs in container apps. This is going to be a container app there. I already did an ACD app, and I already have this deployed into the cloud. And this is what we have. This is the resource group that is created. And as we can see here, we have the backend. This is the MCP server, the front end, the Blazor chat, and we have also a couple of others, the managed identity provider, the registry, the log analytics, and a couple of other things. And it works really, really great. I mean, I can go to the chat. I can open the chat. After a couple of seconds, I'm going to be here, the access to the Aspire dashboard. This is the Aspire dashboard up and running. So let's open here. This is the Aspire dashboard. I have the chat up and running here. I am using a model that I have deployed in my cloud. And remember, you can deploy this uh, you can test this using GitHub models or locally with Olama and more. And if I go here and ask a question, like example, tell me the weather in Toronto, I am going to have a response. Let's zoom this a little. That is going to, it's a fake response. That's going to say, hey, I have a tool result here, which is a JSON that came from one of the tools that I have. A quick reminder in the project, in the server, we have two fake tools here which are the weather tool that basically generates a fake report of the city, temperature forecast, and more. But if I go back here and take a look at this, the cool thing about this is that I can go to Aspire, take a look at the traces, and somewhere here we can see that, hey, this is the full stack of calling. This is the chat in the front end that is calling somewhere here. This is the backend and somewhere here we should have i don't have the details here but this is the calls to the large language model which is going to define okay this is a tool i can do what i need here and if i get here the the details i can even get start to see okay this is the call to the open ai model that we are using and we have the ports and i have an enable here traceability but we can even see how many tokens we are using so yes in order to deploy this the only thing that you need to do is ACD app, and then you are going to have Aspire. This is Aspire 9.1. 9.2 is coming where we have more amazing things, and it's literally one click to do this. Take a look at the repo. In the repo, I already added this. I need to update the deploying part, but it's going to be just to ACD login and ACD app. But this is a super cool way to create a server with Aspire and use it. And by the way, a bonus here. I can go to the server, I can copy the file, and because we have this new agent mode in GitHub Copilot in Visual Studio Code, in example, what I can do is I can go here, send my mode to agents, and I am going to see here that I have some tools, going to open the list of tools. I have a lot of Copilot of stuff, testing more, and I am going to add a new NCP server. 
once I add this, this is going to be a server extension. I am going to add my URL. I need to add the SSE at the at the end. And when I do this, let's do this uh, Aspire NCP demo server. And let's not do demo. This is an Azure server. And I'm going to add it into the workspace. I don't want to be part of my full set. I have here my, my folder. If I go to my repo, I will see that in the top, a new BS code, dot BS code folder is added and I have an mcp.json file. And here I have this definition. The cool part about this is that I have two tools. So right now, if I go back to Azure, I'm sorry, to Copilot, and I take a look at the tools, Somewhere here at the bottom, I will have my two tools, the get joke and the get weather for a city. So I can ask a question like an example, tell me the for Montreal. I was just talking with my friend Frank. So the large language model that we have supporting Copilot is going to find that there is a specific tool that can be used here, that is the get weather for city. If we continue this, we are going to see that, hey, we have an answer here, but we can go back to Aspire, take a look at the logs of the server, and somewhere here we have the call to Montreal. This is the call that we literally did right now. And this is kind of amazing because you can deploy your servers running in Azure and have it here. There is a lot to talk about security. There is a lot to talk about other aspects here. This is an amazing first step that, hey, you can create your MCP servers, deploy into Azure, and use them later in a client like Visual Studio Code. I hope you like it. Once again, I appreciate the likes, subscribes, and more. Let me know what else we want to show here. And hey, see you in the next one. Goodbye.